We're headed toward a one world global government with one massive monstrous leader. According to the Bible prophecy, a formidable force will take over and shape the destiny of the world. This superpower will dominate world commerce, politics, and military strength, potentially leading humanity to the brink of disaster. The future is not just happening. The future is built by us, by a powerful community as you here in this room. We have the means to improve the state so Since the days of the Tower of Babel, humans have imagined a unified global government. God had given humans a directive to spread across the earth, yet they instead opted to stay together in one place, rejecting their Maker's plan. In response, God scrambled human language, dispersing people over the land. Genesis 11 to 1 9. Since then, all the ruling empires which aim to gain total authority as one government over the earth have failed. But that is about to change. Bill and Melinda Gates have been working on a plan with major world leaders to usher in a super world power. These people are influential and powerful, and they have so much money beyond your imagination. What is the function of this forum, and what do they plan to achieve? The World Economic Forum brings together influential people from politics, business, culture, and more to craft global, regional, and industry policies. According to their website, their objective is to create a singular institutional culture. This includes the concept of a single government, culture, religion, and leader. Though it may sound improbable, these elements could be a step in the direction of the Antichrist and a one-world government described in Revelation 13. Here we need a vast military-style campaign to marshal the strength of the global private sector. With trillions at its disposal, far beyond global GDP, and with the greatest respect, beyond even the governments of the world's leaders, it offers the only real prospect of achieving fundamental economic transition. This is the kingdom that Satan is pulling together as the final attempt to dethrone God. The only global government authorized by God and his word will be when Jesus Christ returns to planet Earth at the second advent and rules the world with a rod of iron from Jerusalem. All other global government, no matter how benevolent its intention, is frowned upon by scripture. The Bible teaches that God will allow evil to form a global government for three and one half years during the second half of the tribulation. Our careful, and I mean careful attention, to building and sustaining the liberal international world order with the United States and Europe at its core was the bedrock of the success the world enjoyed in the second half of the 20th century. As humankind seeks to unify under a single, all-encompassing government, questions arise. What should we expect of such a regime? Will it meet our expectations or instead leave us disappointed? Fortunately, the Bible provides the answers. Not only does it inform us of an oppressive global government on the horizon, but also a formation of a one world government that will bring humanity to its knees. Once entrenched in power, the beast, another name for the Antichrist and the power behind him, which is Satan will move to establish absolute control. In demanding worship, Satan edges toward his goal of being like God. See Isaiah 14, 12, 14. To truly control people, commerce must be controlled. Revelation 13 describes how this will happen. Everyone, great and small, rich and poor, free and slave, will be forced to receive some type of mark on their right hands or on their foreheads in order to buy and sell. Revelation 13:16. No doubt the majority of people in the world will receive the mark simply to survive. This new system of commerce will be universal, it will be compulsory, and it will be associated with the worship of the beast. Revelation 13 15 There is a great deal of speculation as to what form this mark will take and how it will be affixed, but the technologies available right now could accomplish it easily. And what we find here is this monster is none other than the final Antichrist. Even now, John says there are many Antichrists. This is the final one. He rises up out of the sea, out of the nations. 
He consolidates all world power. This is globalism, symbolized by ten horns, a number of completion as his seven heads. He has the consolidated power and the consolidated authority. He is a blasphemer, but a powerful one. And the dragon is Satan. And the dragon gave the Antichrist in John's vision his power, his throne, and his great authority. We should not be surprised to learn that efforts toward a one world government have been and continue to be the efforts of so many in high places of government and commerce, and that they use the stealth of deception to further their dreams and goals. Changes in technology excite the average consumer by creating conveniences never before experienced. The integration of global culture, politics, and economies are embraced worldwide. However, the prophecies of the writers of Daniel and Revelation are being fulfilled before our eyes. These changes that are taking place have been part of a carefully crafted plan that was written about thousands of years ago. The one world government will usher in a time where evil will be paramount on the earth. Many will wish not to be alive. The good part is, Christians will not be on earth when the Antichrist takes over. What are your views about the one world government?